I am Anil Kumar. Here is the challenge of the day for you. We have taken a question based on functions. The question here is, given that g of x plus y equals to g of x times g of y for all real numbers, find g of minus 8 if g of 4 is equal to 3. I would like you to pause the video, copy the question solve and then look into my suggestions. Now I'll, I'll give you some more time here to actually solve the question and uh, that will be kind of a quiz, right? So I hope you understand and appreciate it. So this seems to be an excellent uh, question. Let us see how to solve it. Well, what I can do here is that I can actually give you a few choices. So let me make it a multiple choice question and give you four choices. For the possible answers, you let me know which one is the correct solution. We need to find what is g of minus 8. We are given g of 4 as equal to 3, right? Choices A, B, C, and D are well, it could be 2 times 3, 6, or it could be 1 over 6. It could be it could be 9 or it could be 1 over 9. So these are the four choices for you. Now I think it is much simpler. Write down your choices for the correct answer in the comments below. Okay. Just think about it. Now here is my solution. We are saying that for all numbers g of x plus y is equal to the product of g of x and g of y. Now we see normally in exponential functions this rule being followed. So what I will do here is since we are open to solutions what I will do here is I'll consider a function which is b to the power of x plus y right and we know it is equal to b to the power of x plus b to the power of y. So I'll work with exponential functions to get my solution, right? So I'm assuming let this be the function. So I say let the function be the exponential function where we always see this kind of uh, relationship. Perfect. What are we given? We are given g of 4 is 3, right? So we are given g of 4 is 3. So to make the problem simpler, I can assume that let y be equal to 0. In that case, for x equals to 4, I get b of 4 plus 0 equals to b of 4 plus b of 0. Right? And we know this value itself is equal to 3. Now anything to the power of 0 is always 1. Right? So so that is known to us. And from here, what do we get? I mean, this this is 4, right? This is 4. Okay. So from here, we get b of 4, b to the power of 4, is basically equal to 3. And we also get anything to the power of 0 is always 1. Right. What do we need to find? We need to find the value of minus 8. Well, what I could do here is, to the equation b to the power of 4 equals to 3, if I take the exponent both sides as minus 2, I get minus 8 here, right? As minus 2. In that case, I get b to the power of minus 8 equals to 1 over 3 square, which is 9, right? b to the power of minus 8 is my function g of minus 8, correct? So that is g of minus 8. Does make sense to you? So we got the value of g of minus 8 as 1 over 9. Perfect. So I can actually solve this question in this fashion. So I get the value as d as my correct option. So I hope that makes sense. So what we did here was we took a very familiar function, which is exponential functions, right? And in that, this property is true. Now, since we want the value of some number, 
like 8 minus 8 in this case, we know g of 4, we just took y as 0 to make the problem simpler, right? And so we got b to the power of 4. 8 is related with 4. And uh, we use the exponential properties, taking both sides to the power of minus 2 to get our solution. So I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.